For RCR Wireless News, this is Sean Kenny reporting from Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit here in beautiful Maui. Now, the lead at Snapdragon Summit was the launch of the Snapdragon X Elite PC platform, which has Qualcomm's custom Orion CPU. So, why is that relevant to RCR, a telecom industry trade publication? I'll try to explain. What I think we're seeing today is the beginning of Qualcomm's evolution from a communications company into a connected processing company. So one thing they do very well is horizontally scale technology from run product line to all product lines. As that relates to this new CPU, PC is the starting point, but we'll soon see that in the mobile platforms and the automotive business and across their various IoT categories. The core concept here is that all devices will eventually be connected to the cloud, whether that's centralized, distributed, or hybrid, meaning that low power, high performance computing becomes table stakes. So if you're an operator or an enterprise, the network has to be built to support that, regardless of whether that network is 5G, 4G, Wi-Fi, wired, other, or all. Then there's the generative AI of it all. Let's suppose a future where Gen AI lives up to at least half the hype, so still hugely material for every consumer, every enterprise of every size. With a highly performant CPU, you can run 10 billion to 30 billion parameter large language models on a device. And that's just in this first generation. So if you were, attempt, if you were to attempt to stream that functionality from the cloud, couple problems. I mean, one, it's probably not going to work. Two, latency you're introducing would kind of kill the UX. Three, the costs would be absolutely unsustainable. And four, privacy security just becomes a nightmare. So the more generative AI that you can run on the device, the better as it relates to those four dimensions. So again, why is all that relevant to RCR? Well, look, I'm optimistic. I think operators will at some point monetize 5G and that it will play a key role in this move to Industry 4.0. But to make that work in the real world at scale, architectures from cloud all the way out to the device become incredibly important. You have to know where to put your cloud resources, you have to know where to put your radio resources, and you have to know that there are in-market devices that will let you translate that capex and opex into new service revenue. So again, from my perspective, Qualcomm has proved itself indispensable. And that's a nuanced story. That's a hard story to tell to institutional investors. But I do think that is the story until someone corrects me. In the meantime, for RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney. Please check us out, subscribe to our newsletter, follow us on YouTube. Look forward to seeing you soon.